Hello, welcome back to AJM Learn. Today I'm going to show you how to set up some product blocks. It's a really good way to like do a more customized look um, when it comes to showing your products on your site instead of just having your store. So let's get into it. I'll show you how to set it up and then I have a ton of CSS for it. We post videos every week, so subscribe if you like them. All right, so I'm on my sandbox site, so don't judge anything you see. It's just my random site for examples. Um, okay, on the back end, you're going to add block and you are going to add a product block. So you can resize it, move it around as you want. Once you have that kind of how you want it, um, come into the pencil icon to edit. And then you wanna search for any of your existing products. You can create a new product too. I believe this is new right here, but it kind of takes you out of the screen to create a new product. So I like to have it set up beforehand. I just have the uh, templatized um, store set up. Okay, so find the product. And it'll pull from your store. You can then toggle on anything you want to show. So the image, the title, the price, the description, the add to cart button, and product quick view are all of your options. So let's toggle them all on because we have some custom CSS for all of that. And then over in the design panel, you can round the image you, or you can change the image shape. Um, you can just simply like round it here. You can't see that it's done that because of the border, but oh my gosh, like why? There you go, you can kind of see it. So you can round the corners, you can do all of that here. You can change the focal point, I think this is new, which is kind of nice. They have this in other places in Squarespace, but if you have you know, something you want, if the you know, photo, I don't know, is offset and you wanted to have the focal point in a certain spot, you can. Um, you can also now choose, uh, you know, on the back end in your site styles, you've set up probably your how your buttons look, primary, secondary, tertiary. So you can change that here as well. Um, and then you can also, of course, change the alignment. So that gets your basic setup. Um, I'm going to make this slightly smaller for the purpose of us seeing all the edits that I make in a second. That's a lie. Let's keep it as it is. Um, okay. I wanted to show you a couple ways I like using this before we kind of like dive into those edits. So let me duplicate this real quick. So I like to use this first and foremost. We could get rid of the description maybe left justify this let's see duplicate it it's a really good way to do like featured products on your homepage or something like that so you know these probably i'll fix it i know this looks crazy they're too squished so i mean you could totally do that if you like the look um or you know spread them out okay obviously spacing is crazy because i don't want to waste you guys time you get the point um great way to feature some from some products. One thing, my favorite way I figured out how I like to use this is kind of twofold. It drives me nuts that the information has to be below it. It like actually drives me crazy. So what I came up with was this. If you want the information to the right, let's say of the image, duplicate the product block, put it next to each other. In the first one, only show the image. I like to keep product quick view on so they can still hover over the photo and get that. And in the second one, keep on the other stuff. Probably take that off. And then you wanna make sure they're both vertically centered so that they line up with each other. And that works way better. Sometimes you wanna kinda of like make that space. Yeah, like that looks perfect. Um, so I do this a lot because they don't have that setting. So just a cool way to do that. All right, last thing I'll show you real quick. Another way I like to do this is add a shape block behind it. So let's move everything down, send the shape block to the back. Just a good way to highlight. So, you know, if I have this like kind of light gray background and I want to just make this pop a little more, you can totally add a shape block to the background. All right, now let's jump into some CSS. So I'm going to hop back up to this top one, go down to my custom CSS panel. And first, I'm copying this over directly from the post. You can also get it in the video description. First is the Squarespace, the product block CSS. So this actual block here, now I'm pasting this directly in and it's gonna look ugly, um, so ignore that. But what we have first is adding a border around the image. So this here, they're all labeled. So if you wanted to add a border on the image, that's there. Um, title color, price color, excerpt, quantity label color, button color. I do in the button color, by the way, have it 
have the block ID needed. So grab the block ID. I like to use this Squarespace ID finder plugin or Google extension. You do need to grab the block ID because the what I found so far, there's probably a different one, but the selector for this um, is like this, you know, primary, regular primary selector. So it's really just easiest to use the block and then target the primary button or secondary button, whichever one you've used. Um, okay, this these down here apply if you want to add some padding and add a drop shadow. So if you did want this to kind of, you could use the shape block like I just showed you to do this too. But if you want to do it all with CSS, you totally can. So you can set this padding. The padding is kind of different all around. So you just want to keep it kind of um, proportional to what I've set here. You can like add more padding if you want and you know change the settings of the drop shadow. Obviously these colors are like not really great and legible, but just to show you, um, you can of course change, by the way, over in your site styles, you can edit these fonts, you can edit the colors, but um, it, sometimes I find things are easier with CSS and also they might not have every every single individual thing. So like, it's kind of hard to really get down to the nitty gritty. I find it much easier to do with CSS. You can do it over in site styles if you want, um, under fonts, assign styles. If you kind of click on it, it'll bring it up. So you can definitely go in there and assign those if you would like. Totally up to you. I love to do things with CSS because I don't know, sometimes I think it's easier. Um, and there was something else I was gonna show you here and now I forget what it was, so let's move on. All right, I will get rid of that. The next thing, and of course it's still showing it, but that's fine. The next thing is, oops, the quick view. So the quick view is not, it's gotten better, I will say. It used to be like the ugliest thing on Squarespace. Now it, I still wanna be able to edit it. So I'm gonna drop this in. It's also gonna look ugly, but that's okay. Ignore the settings, I know it's like crazy. Um, okay, first thing here, this is the overlay in the background, so like, if you want an overlay, you could do a gradient overlay if you wanted, but you can like change the opacity background color. That's the background color of the entire box here. By the way, remember if, obviously can't multitask. If anything ever doesn't work at a certain point, you can just always add that important tag. And that typically will fix the problem. It just needs to like override, um, you know, whatever's already happening. Let's see. So added a border. So that's here. The close X color, that's up here. Um, added a drop shadow, button color, title, price. Sorry, I'm like rambling here. Excerpt um, this viewful item. And then what I'm realizing I need to add, of course, is this quantity. Um, this has been really hard to find. I'm not going to lie to you. So I will try to find this and add it to the post and to the description. Um, I've been playing around with this for a while and haven't found it. So maybe just don't do a black background. <laughs> maybe do something that black is legible over. Um, that's the one issue that I have had so far, but I will try to find that for you guys. Last thing I remember I was going to say was within any, like any um, CSS, the selector is really the hardest thing to find. So for example, here, where are we? Title. I'm saying title color, which yes, that's true. And we're missing some closing. These still work, but I like it to be clean. I'll fix that. Um, but you can add any anything inside of these brackets. So I could also say font size 20 um, and make it smaller. Again, you can do a lot of this in site styles, but sometimes I just find it easier to do it here. That would be crazy, but you get the point. So you're not stuck with just the color. Remember that if you have like a value you want to add in here, go for it. Okay. I feel like I've been rambling. I hope that's helpful. Enjoy.